Hi guys, it's Jordan Byers and today we're going to be brutally honestly reviewing the brand new Kylie Holiday Collection and you might be wondering, Jordan, why the heck do you have two different eye makeup looks going on and why do your lips look like they just got stung by bees? Well, I just did two different makeup looks using the Naughty and Nice palette and I also did swatches of every single lip color. So that's, this is basically what we're going to be working with for the rest of the video. So, um, You guys, let's go ahead and put on some dang highlight. I can't go the rest of the video without it. <sighs> Anyways, this is the wet set, and she has come out with another wet set. I believe it was in the summer collection, but I didn't get it because she doesn't add the wet sets in the bundles. You have to pay for it separately, which honestly, that kind of is irritating to me like if you're gonna sell a collection and you're gonna sell a collection bundle put it in the dang bundle anyways this bad boy is $62 now that's a that's a bold price Kylie that is a bold price let's find out if it's worth it so we're just gonna go ahead and swatch these real quickly on my arm starting with <gasps> Oh shoot, I went in there like super heavy. I forgot that these are legitimately like creams. Oopsies, I dented that, let me fix that. I forgot that they were creams. I thought it was gonna be like a hard powder. Oopsies. <laughs> ah. Okay, so this one right here is sugar coated. Wow. Ooh, I like this one next. This one is frostbite. This one is sweet dream. And this last one is gingerbread. Wow, those are really beautiful. <gasps> so I'm looking on her website, wondering how the heck am I supposed to apply this? Um, just because, oh shoot, I dig my nail into that one. Just because I feel like you don't use a brush to apply it because it's, like it's like a gel. It's a straight up gel. So I'm gonna try to use a brush, but I think we're just gonna have to use our fingers for this type of thing. So let me go into this frostbite right here. Okay, so there's a little bit on my brush. Oh, I guess you can use a brush. Ooh, that's, <gasps> Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, holy night, the stars show brightly shining. <laughs> you guys, what in the world is going on? I actually like this a lot. Dare I say? Dare I say that I recommend this extremely expensive palette? Now I'm gonna try to just apply it with my fingers. Oh my gosh. No, no, it's not a finger thing. I need to use a brush to blend. Oh, so that's why you sell it separately and that's why it's $62, I guess. Honestly, I think the price point is a little ridiculous even still. But I say she could she could price this at an even $49.99 and get away with it. But at $62, I think that's a little bold just because I mean this is a great palette and these colors are beautiful. Like can you imagine this gingerbread as a lid color or an inner corner highlight with a bold brown smoky? Ah, yeah, that is beautiful. But the thing that makes me irritated is Kylie Cosmetics is not a luxury brand. So when she prices things at luxury prices like this, it just kind of irritates me. As, oh my gosh, I don't even wanna get into the, the, the brush set pricing. Like girl, that gets me all sort of triggered. Mm -mm. We're not even gonna bring up the brush set, but this is a great palette. Like these highlighters are 
freaking beautiful. Like I just keep wanting to touch them because they're like, they're squishy. They're squishy. But I think Kylie needs a reality check because her, her fans are not looking at her as being a, a luxury brand. Like she needs to reprice because her brand is not luxury. Shoot, that's beautiful. Let's talk about the eyeshadow palettes. First, let's start with the Nice palette, which is the eye makeup I did on my right hand side. So I started and I used the shade Miracle and I kind of put that all over my entire lid. And then I went in with one of the transition shades called Macaroon and oh my gosh, it blended like a dream. And then on top of that, I went in with Santa Baby and honestly, I love this one just as much as Macaroon. Both of those shades were incredible. And then after that, I went in with Hot Cider to kind of deepen it up a little bit. This one wasn't the most pigmented, but it also wasn't bad. As long as you um, thoroughly blended it out, it looked pretty good. After that is when I started in with some of the metallic shades. I used the color Mulberry, and honestly, this wasn't very pigmented. I don't know, I didn't really, I didn't like this shade at all. But it was, it was fine because it didn't really mess with my eye look. And then in the inner corner, I used the really bright, bright gold shade called Slay. And it kind of comes off more yellowy, like a green yellow color, not green, but a very, very intense, warm toned yellow gold color, which I think is very unique. In her. And then for the center of my lid, I used the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade called Blizzard, which blended so beautifully over my MAC Painterly Paint Pot that I placed down before. And honestly, guys, it's still looking amazing and I've had this makeup on for about two hours. But like girl, it still looks beautiful. As for now, my honest opinion is I really do like this palette. I think it's beautiful. The shades that I did use turned out amazing. Um, but as for that being said, since I haven't tried out all of the shades on my eyelid yet, I don't know how the other ones perform. But as for the one, two, three, four, five, six. As for the seven shades in here that I did try, they were great. Oh, I forgot to mention that I used the shade Jack Frost on as my brow bone highlight. And you guys, that is the most beautiful blinding color ever. I'm obsessed. So overall, I think this nice palette is very, very nice. <laughs> Moving on to the naughty side. So I first started off the look using the shade Cole as my base transition color and it started out really patchy and I was nervous because I was like, oh shoot, this is an intense color and it's starting to get patchy. But I think the more you blend it out, the less patchy it is. So you kind of have to finesse the shade a little bit but honestly, it's such a beautiful shade. I wasn't even too mad about it. It just takes a little bit of an extra blending time. Then on top of that, in my outer V, I used the shade Emerald, and oh my gosh, this also is a beautiful, stunning color as well. It's so pigmented and easy to blend, and I was just super, super impressed with this. So the one color out of this palette that I have used so far that I didn't like was the color called Mischief, and I tried to blend this out over that gray and green situation that I did and it just didn't want to stick more it more so just left little shimmers but the actual pigment did not stick to my eye so that one was kind of a bust but honestly for the few shades that I have tried out of this palette I am obsessed with this eye look like oh my gosh that mint color is to die for so then I used the shimmery shade called jingle for my brow bone highlight and once again it is also extremely blinding and beautiful and I'm obsessed with it like I keep moving my head looking at the shine on this bad boy it's absolutely stunning. So for my lid space, I used the color called Snowflake, which is such a beautiful silver shade. And I put that all over my lid over the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And then I used the color Merry Mint in my inner corner. And you guys, I am obsessed with the way this turned out. I think this look is absolutely beautiful and I definitely will be doing it again. So for me, this palette 
<laughs> this Naughty palette is beautiful. Once again, I haven't tried out every single shade, so I can't give you a full in-depth review as this is a first impression, but my first impression of these two palettes are fantastic. Um, if you ask me which one I liked better, I would probably tell you the Naughty palette just because the color scheme is more up my alley. You guys know I really love cool tones and there's a lot of very beautiful cool tone shades to work with in this palette that really caught my attention. So as for these two palettes, I say my first impression is very, very nice. I'm definitely going to use these more and I'll update you guys in a future favorites and hated it video, whether they turned out being a hit or a miss overall. So now moving on to lips. I first tried on the entire sugar little kit filled with lipsticks. Let me just tell you that the two glosses, these two glosses called sugar and butter are absolutely beautiful. If you guys saw my holiday gift guide video that I posted a couple of days ago, you guys would have seen that I raved about the Kylie glosses and it's so true. I absolutely love the formula of the Kylie glosses. They are so pigmented, the ones that are supposed to be super opaque and the ones that are supposed to be super shimmery like these guys are always such beautiful lip toppers. So the next one in here is called Savage and this is a velvet liquid lipstick. The Velvet Liquid Lipsticks by Kylie Cosmetics are my favorite matte formula. It's not all the way matte because it is transfer proof and it doesn't dry down completely, but it does have that matte look to the lips. This is my favorite formula other than the glosses from Kylie Cosmetics. I love this color. I love everything about it. Moving on to the shade called Angel. This is a matte liquid lipstick and I'm pretty sure we've already had this. I'm pretty sure this was in the last holiday collection from last year so I've got this bad boy. I don't know why she would do a repeat in this year's holiday collection. I could be wrong. Maybe this is from the Valentine's Day collection. I can't remember, but I swear she has another shade called Angel. And honestly, you guys know I'm not a huge fan of the matte liquid lipstick range by Kylie just because the formula is super drying on my extremely dry, dry lips. So the formula is not my favorite, but the color is absolutely beautiful. So last from the sugar collection is this velvet liquid lipstick called Boy Bye, and oh my gosh, the color is beautiful. Once again, I love the velvet formula. So overall, I think this sugar kit is absolutely amazing. You get two glosses, two velvets, and one matte. So to me, this is a great deal. Moving on to the spice kit, starting out with the first matte liquid lipstick called Holly Berry. So when I first applied this, it had it show it was showing signs of being super super patchy and it ended up being very very patchy. So with this shade, I recommend putting a lip liner underneath. If you don't have a lip liner, this is going to look extremely patchy. This is not one of my favorites. The color is beautiful, but the formula, once again, is matte and it's super patchy, so this one is a no-go for me. The next one in the spice kit is the gloss called Juniper. Now, usually I really, really am in love with her glittery type glosses, but this one plain on the lips alone can tend to look very patchy, but I do recommend this over any other matte lipstick or just plain old lipstick because it's just going to amp up that plain old matte lipstick and make it super beautiful and a hint of gold glitter is always wanted in any type of lip situation. Moving on to the next gloss. This one is called Cinnamon. Oh my gosh, look at the pigmentation. This is beautiful. I'm obsessed. I am definitely going to be wearing this throughout the next couple of weeks for the holiday season. I'm obsessed with this gloss. Once again, you can't go wrong with one of her glosses, whether it's alone or on top of another lipstick. The next lipstick in this spice kit is the matte liquid lipstick called Clove. The color is beautiful, but once again, I'm not a fan of the matte formula, so this one is kind of a pass for me as well, just because I never ever tend to wear Kylie's matte liquid lipsticks because they just 
turn crusty and thick on my lips and I'm just not a fan. So the last velvet liquid lipstick in this set is called Goals and I love the color. The feeling is amazing. Like I've said 350 times today, the velvet formula is absolutely amazing. So with this spice kit you get two glosses two matte liquid lipsticks and one velvet liquid lipstick. If I had to choose between the two kits, I would definitely say go with the sugar kit just because all of the lipsticks in the sugar kit were pigmented, stunning, beautiful, amazing. I love the sugar kit. But as for the spice kit, I'm not a huge fan of it just because there's two of the matte liquid lipsticks and I don't, I don't like wearing that formula. And the one gloss didn't look amazing on its own, which I tend to wear lots of glosses on their own, but that's just me. So moving on, and last but not least, the Red Velvet Lip Kit. I'm so glad that she decided for the signature lip kit of the Holiday Collection to be a velvet liquid lipstick because I, once again, love the formula. And I'm super, super impressed with the color. It's so unique. It's almost like an orangey red color. I, I don't have anything like it, so I'm really, really happy that I decided to pick this up. It's beautiful and it's gonna be a great addition to my collection. So that is it for today's first impression, brutally honest review of Kylie Cosmetics Holiday Collection. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that big old thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, it looks like I did the Kylie Jenner lip challenge like Girl, that looks painful. It is kind of painful to be honest. Do it for the tube, am I right?